Hey everyone, Ian here from The Extra Dimension. We've got something a little special for you today. We here at The Nexus are promoting a charity for the annual Project for Awesome. So what the heck is the Project for Awesome? Uh, the Project for Awesome is a community-driven annual fundraiser for charities that was started in 2007 by Hank and John Green. They do a 48-hour live stream gathering donations from the community, and then the donations are split between charities that are chosen by the community. So, how does the community choose? Well, online creators, such as yours truly, promote a charity that they think is doing important work and encourage their audience to go and vote for that charity on the Project for Awesome website. And we here at the Nexus chose... The Electronic Frontier Foundation. Now, to explain what the Electronic Frontier Foundation does, I think there's no better place to look than just to read from their mission statement. When freedoms in the networked world come under attack, the Electronic Frontier Foundation is the first line of defense. EFF broke new ground when it was founded in 1990, well before the internet was on most people's radar, and continues to confront cutting-edge issues defending free speech, privacy, innovation, and consumer rights today. From the beginning, EFF has championed the public interest in every critical battle affecting digital rights. EFF fights for freedom primarily in the courts, bringing and defending lawsuits even when that means taking on the US government or large corporations. By mobilizing more than 50,000 concerned citizens through our action center, EFF beats back bad legislation. In addition to advising policymakers, EFF educates the press and public. As we were discussing which charity we wanted to support, all of the Nexus hosts were on board with choosing the EFF. Brian Mitchell summarizes our thoughts here really well. The Electronic Frontier Foundation is one of the best examples that I can think of of an organization that continuously fights for the user. They center their goals around freedom of speech, privacy, creativity and innovation, transparency, international, and security. They've helped create tools like HTTPS Everywhere and the Let's Encrypt CertBot, as well as taken issues to court against the federal government, the FCC, and the world's largest entertainment and electronics companies. The EFF website is quite extensive and is filled with guides, news, and other posts on all of the topics that they support. I think a digital rights foundation like the EFF is one of the most important groups that we can support to help every user of technology in today's digital world. Some recent highlights of the EFF's career, uh, they turned 30 this last year in 2020, and also, of course, the year 2020 uh, brought a lot of challenges uh, to the online privacy and copyright protection space, uh, in addition to all of the other craziness that went on uh, last year. The EFF fought against government use of surveillance technologies uh, to track down protesters. They opposed the sharing of health data with law enforcement agencies. They cautioned against relying on app-based COVID tracking solutions as opposed to uh, live interview-based. And just before the pandemic started, they were part of a coalition that helped to save the .org top-level domain from falling into the hands of private equity interests. So, calls to action. What do I want you to do? Uh, the Project for Awesome live stream event happens this weekend, February 12th through 14th. Uh, that's noon February 12th to noon of February 14th Eastern Time. You can tune in there for a lot of fun stuff. All donations to the Project for Awesome will be distributed to different charities that the community votes on. So also while you're there, uh, definitely go and vote for the Electronic Frontier Foundation. And if you want to join the EFF directly, they, uh, they of course accept donations from individuals. All right, that's it for now. Until next time, have a good one. The Nexus, the Nexus, the Nexus TV podcasts from, from the, the technological, technological convergence. convergence.